Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your machine learning application using a very popular Python library named Gradio. In this video, we are going to cover the model deployments which we have already created earlier. These models are our style model which we have extracted the style from the given images. Besides this model, we also have some of these E4E encoder model as well as the style gen FFHQ model. The runtime environment for our application is going to be Google Colab where Gradio is going to be used as the front end for us to apply these styles to any given face image. The application will start with the setup environment. It means we are going to download the Zozo GAN repo code as well as other Python libraries which are required for us to run this application. Once the environment is set up, the next step is to upload all these models from wherever resources they are to our Google Colab environment. At this time, our source code will be ready to run the application which is based on Gradio. Once this application is going to run, it is going to load the base models which are needed for us to set the environment up. Application is started and the UI will be available where a user can select any given image from the list or they can drag and drop their own images on which they would want to apply a certain style which is also available in the drop down. Once the input image as well as the style is set, that style is going to be passed through our code. Depending on the selected style, the model will be loaded from the disk and that model is going to be applied to the given image and then final result output will be generated. Everything what we have seen here, we are going to follow up in this video through the code and the explanations. The code which we have completed at Google Colab can be extended to run at the hugging face spaces, which will not be covered in this video and my next video is going to have the detailed information where you will learn how you could deploy the same application at the hugging face spaces. In last few videos, I have shown you how you could build your face style transfer model and application using Zozo again face stylization AI library. And in this video, we are going to extend what we have learned earlier and use the models which we have created as well as which we have exported from Zozogen library. And we are going to deploy all of those models at Google Colab and final output will be at the Gradio application. Before we start our hands-on exercise, I just wanted to let you know that the content which we are going to cover here has already been discussed in detail in these three face style transfer with Zozo Gen YouTube videos. So if you would want to learn the basics and the previous information, please go through with these videos because the content which we are going to cover in this video is heavily depend on the content which I have covered in past. In this video, you are going to get full application running at Google Colab, but its output is with Gradio UI and you will learn step by step details how you can not only deploy your models from your local file system or wherever you have stored to Google Colab first and then create your Gradio application or Gradio interface to your model inference code so that you can perform the image style or the face style to any given face using the Gradio application. So let's if you are new to Gradio and looking for reasons to learn Gradio or just want to know why you should be using the Gradio, let me give you three main reasons to use the Gradio. The very first reason is that with the Gradio, you can create the Python based UI for your machine learning application where you will pass the data and your code will perform the machine learning action and it's going to generate the result. The result could be image, text, whatever. And that is all you could do with Gradio without writing the UI specific code. The second reason is that the application actually runs in the web browser. 
So you could share the link to somebody else and they can access your test application. As long as your application is running, the link will work. And the third and the final reason is that you can host your AI ML application to the Hugging Face Spaces as your final demo. It means that your application is available to the world without consideration of any hardware or the hosting infrastructure. And that's another big plus for you to learn Gradio. I think we have learned enough basics for us to get started with this hands-on exercise. So let's get ourselves started. So I do have this Jupyter Notebook already available at the Google Collab. And it, this notebook has GPU enabled. And first, we are going to clone the Zozogan repo, install the Ninja Linux and few other Python libraries such as DLib, OpenCV, Python, SciPy, Scikit-Learn for our Zozogan AI style transfer application to run. After the cloning is completed, we are going to install the Gradio if it is not installed in your machine. Next, we are going to import some of these Python modules which are required for us. Most importantly, we are importing the image IO, NumPy, Torch, PIL, Torch Vision mainly. At this point, we are importing the Zozogen specific Python module and because we have already cloned the Zozogen repo, so we have access to model, E4 projection and the util. These are the files which we are using to import the modules which is required for us to perform the inference. Next, we are going to create a folder called models and that will be inside this Zozogen folder where we are going to upload all the models which we have created, exported as well as some of the pre-created models for style gain as well as for E4E projection. At this point, I will be exporting the models which I have already saved in my Google Drive. So from my Google Drive to Jozo again models folder at the bottom of this Jupyter notebook. Here is the list of models Disney model, DLib shape from DLib for the face validation, E4E, FFHQ encoder model, style gain, FFHQ configuration model. Now we are exporting both light year face and the light year sweet checkpoint model and then renaming them by removing the checkpoint. And finally, I'm just uploading few of these images for us to test our code. These style images I'm not uploading, but you can use them for your demo as well. Now we can take a look at the models folder. So here, Disney, Lightyear, Face and Suit. These are the three models. Rest are the helper models, which will be used by Zozogan library to perform the inference. At this point, here are few setup configurations such as device we are using CUDA because we are using the GPU here. If you do not use the GPU, you can just use the CPU here and the latent dimensions are 512. At this time, we are going to set up two separate variables. One is our original generator and second is transform where the output data is going to be stored in the form of 1024, 1024 Excel image. So these are the pre-configured variables, original generator, mean latent and the transform. And here we are loading the style can FFSQ model. Rest of the processing I have put into a one single function and I will explain you a little later why I did it. This method just take two parameter, what model you want, what pre-trained style model and what is your source image. And based on that, it sets up everything. And we have already covered this extensively in previous tutorials, so I will not go more about it. But the idea is that this is where we are loading the style model, applying the style, and the transformation is done here. This is the transform. Remember, we have created transform here, and that's where the face is there. And finally, the return is stored into the output. Here, face I have kept it if you would want to keep this original image in case if you would want to show it because I'm not showing it that's why I'm just using the my sample where the result is going to be stored here. So this method runs so we have defined this method now we are selecting the light year face and we are calling this process Jozogen model which is this method by passing this 
image and by setting the pretend model as light year phase. So this is first we are testing our function locally to make sure it's ready and working before we apply this with Gradio. Now the applied image is the result which we can actually validate what it is. And if we look into the type of applied image, you will see that this is actually the tensor. It means we have to export this tensor from wherever it is to NumPy image. And at this point, if you will try to take this applied image and use it as it is, you will get an error because the applied image is actually this object tensor type is on GPU. So we have to export this to CPU. So what I will do, I will show you that error is going to occur here if I will not use this dot CPU. And let's see what this error is. As you could see here that the applied image object is actually the type of tensor which is on CUDA and NumPy is on CPU. So we have to transport this by using the dot CPU method. So once you use dot CPU, then your map copy is going to happen from your GPU to CPU. For that reason, we are using this line. So I will say, so now we have understood it. Now we are taking this output image, converting to a NumPy image, and then saving the NumPy image using image IO to the disk. At this point, if we refresh this folder, result image final JPEG is created. And if we try to load it, here you could see that this is the output based on our style transfer for the source image which was located here. So this was our source image and this source image has been transformed using the light year model by this way. So it means our code is working. Now in the next step, our objective is to take this function and apply it with gradient. So here we are importing the gradient. After that, if you look into, this is the Zozogen inference method which calls the process Zozogen model. So this Zozogen inference is being the input for the Gradio interface. So if you are very new to Gradio, it's a very simple application. You just define title, description, article. These are all optional. Then you will define what is your input method. So all the Gradio interface, they have the input method. So in our case, this is our input input method. The input for Gradio is the image. Here is the image which we are defining and the drop down. There is a list of this. So I'm defining that these three models. So the label is model and default model is Disney. And finally, the Gradio dot output is image. So the output of this method is also going to be image here and rest. We are using the examples. So here is the examples at the bottom. So these can be used as a image choice as well. And finally, we are going to set this whole GR interface as a object called demo. And then we are performing the demo dot launch. You can also use the demo dot launch dot launch here too. So this is our method here is if you could see that this GR interface launches this Jojo again, send the image input plus model, which is selected by these two options here. Now we take that image, save into a local disk and then use the local disk, send it to process Yuzogen model with the model type, whatever it is. And then based on that, we just perform our all the work which we have done earlier. So let's call this method. Let's set up the Yuzogen inference. And now we are launching the Gradio application. As you could see, Gradio application is running and I'm not setting the debug equals true right now because we are not trying to show the debug value right now. Let me close it. So this is your Zozogen based Gradio application. Good thing is that if you would want, you don't need to test this thing locally here. You can actually use this link and that will open the browser. And now we have the same application which we have launched in our Google Colab. We can test it here. So first I will be selecting one of the image. So for example, I will select this image which we have test. We will choose the light year phase model submit it as you could see action is started here it means some processing is going on and here is the result if you would want to change this model to disney you run it again and here are the results if you would want to drop 
an image here from your local disk you can clear this environment and then you could drop an image so i have dropped an image here from my local file system and now if you would run the disney model on it here you are going to get the result so very quickly you could build a gradio application for your zozo again model if you will be keep running this Jupyter Notebook or this environment, you can share this URL to anybody else and they can test this model by themselves. So it's all about how long you can keep this application running. Now the work which we have done in this Jupyter Notebook, I will go ahead and I will export this to GitHub. Similar to other Jupyter Notebook, this Jupyter Notebook is available with all other Jupyter Notebooks as well at my DeepWorks GitHub repo in this Zozogen folder. So in this video, I have shown you how you could create the Gradio application from scratch and run it at the Google Colab. And in my next video, I will show you how you can deploy everything what we have covered to Hugging Face Spaces. So I do appreciate your time watching this video and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my next video. Until then, thank you so much.